How are you guys doing out there? This is Mike from Rad Ride Heaven. Um, coming to you guys to show you've been working on a couple of rims and finishing a couple of the cars that I was doing. Uh, rear suspension all done on a lot of them already. Uh, working on some resin today, making some resin uh, rims and stuff like that. Got some rims going on and stuff like that. Old school rims and other parts that I'm working on. Uh, on the screen you can see the little screen back there suspension parts that I needed um, You go through them fast when you start doing the rears on the car. I made a video on the resin last time and I forgot to put in a couple of claimers that I don't want to get sued or anything for it or Anything above that or you too. I don't know. There's always something going on First of all the resin that I use is a water resin. It is still dangerous. It's a very toxic resin just because it's water uh washable doesn't mean it's safe to use throw it away in the sink or none of that can happen it has to be disposed of the right way and it's better you have to wear gloves like as you see i have them a mask eye protection and if you get any on your body your skin or your clothes wash it off take off the shirt put it put it to wash and rinse your hands arms especially because you might not think but a little bit falls on you and it will burn you it, you'll feel the heat after five to ten minutes and if you have open cuts definitely wear gloves because you're gonna feel it right away it's just because because a friend of mine said well being that it's water it's safe to no it's not now, the bottle tells you gives you all the warnings on the bottle just like if you're using regular resin it's the resin it's not washable with water because it's much easier to deal with than using alcohol but once in a while I spray alcohol on it when it gets stubborn in the water to wash with the soap so I'm just want to let people know that it's just as bad as regular resin okay uh, so be aware of it and, and make sure that you guys you know whoever buys it and figure it out is water resin it's okay no kids cannot play with it no I wouldn't advise you to let a kid do anything with it without you supervising first of all 100% because it will burn you it's falling on me before and I know what it feels like another thing I learned talking to people on Facebook um, chat rooms and stuff <clears throat> I learned a lot about the supporting excuse me I learned about a lot about how to make the supporting support real small but you won't waste material I was wasting material before as you can see how thick this one is compared to now how thin it is and it's still supporting the piece so I talked to a couple of the guys wonderful guys out there let you know listen just make the support the millimeters on it smaller if it's not a heavy piece if it's a heavy piece you make it bigger you have to play with the settings just like you did with the settings on the other 3d printers because if you don't, you're going to waste a lot of material. And resin, some reason or not, wastes more than filament. It wastes way more than, than the other printers, the guys were telling me. So those tricks you got to play with. Uh, the supports, even the supports. If you don't need a thick support, there's no reason to use it. Use a thin support because it'll hold the piece in place. It'll hold it. It's not going to fall. It's not going to break off. Okay? So that's another thing I was I was doing wrong. I was using heavy supports thinking that it it don't need it. So it, it helped me a lot. It helped me a lot. Believe me, talking to them gave me a lot of stuff, a lot of ideas. Broke down my printer and all the settings that it needed. I've been printing with it perfectly. I did those rims. I did these. I redo it other ones. And it came out perfect. I mean, no problem at all. No problem at all with the settings. Learning them. And learn, talking to other people, which I thank them again, 100%, I thank them a lot. Um, it worked perfect. Another thing I did that I thought would I would get a shortcut, and it, you really don't, unless you buy Flexico resin. Flex resin. I bought black resin thinking if I did the tires in black, I would save from painting them. No, it's not going to save from painting them. Because as soon as you start sanding them down, they turn white. The black, <clears throat> the black resin turns white. 
so it does not save anything really maybe a little bit more spraying less than what you would spray if it was gray but it doesn't save anything um, I'm about to use flexible resin I bought it I'm going through the details on it before I use it to make sure that I have everything I need when I go to use it that way I can make all the tires on it flexible which I really don't mind spraying the butt you know why not save a little bit of paint you know and stuff like that buy the resin already black flexible and you have a nice tire so that's what I've been doing still working on all my cars that I said I would I'm not moving them from there the rest of these bodies you see there, I just took them out of the casings to fix other ones in and I got to put them away but I'm still going to deal with the cars I want to deal with which are the ones on that side the yellow the truck or the Volkswagen those are the ones I want to get ready for hope by the end of the year finish and done and painted and then I'll show them let me not take long here thank you for everyone who subscribes to me who messaged me uh, I watch a lot of videos. I might not comment on all of them, but I watch everybody's videos. It's an entertainment for me. It's something that I like doing. Uh, I went to an RC track. I'll talk about that in my next video. Uh, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't too good for me. But I went to a big, huge RC track that um, has to get done. And, I, I, you know, I, I, it just a lot of stuff went on over there that I have to realize. I'm um, going into those big tracks. Anyway, I don't want to take long. I don't want to bore you guys. You guys take care. Be safe. Uh, this is Mike from Rad Ride Heaven. Uh, be safe out there. Take care.